Bonjour guys, hope everyone's well, I hope everyone's blessed, I hope everyone's having a great time out there on this beautiful Wednesday. Now gym training's done for the day, um, we're just going to pick up on uh, some true crime content, what we said uh, we would do. So really guys, take it in stages, some true crime, some of our country, do you know what I mean? Just uh, And obviously the others with the fighting, just a different broad context and complex varieties just great content straight down the heart what i've seen and done with my own two eyes now on this one um what people what people really like to talk about especially in prison life yeah is fighting with the screws now take some type of caliber of a dude well not really in these days because let's face it now the screws on a wing in jails usually usually two little five foot three women and they've got to look after the four wing and there's no control at all they ain't got no say especially in the old the cat c jails cat b prisons like whole prison uh and the green in birmingham all right uh the screws are a little bit more uh game on you know what i mean like so uh yeah the um the variety the the, the variety now of uh, screws what's coming into these cat c jails are usually people who's like done six week courses at college with no life skills, some young 18, 19 year old bro, and then they'll just be, uh, and then they'll just, and then they'll just be basically chucked into the deep end there, really, with hard and cons. Um, obviously, like we like to full certain cat A jails, they've really got their own rule book. They can practically just do like what what they want. You know what I mean? So, um, I'll tell you now, on my last exper experience when I was in Hull uh, Jail, my biggest fight there with the screws. Um, I was, where, where was now? I was on the normal wing in a primary scrap with some old kid on there. Uh, uh, one like uh, Kiko uh, Mako, uh, and I ended up getting put down the block on a GOID of good order and discipline. Uh, and when I was down the block on a good order and discipline, they let me back out and then they put me onto another wing, onto the D wing. Now, when I was onto the D wing, uh, there, was a, there was a screw on there, a Scott screw, if anyone remembers him, called Mr. Mac. Yeah. Now, Mr. Mac, they are, uh, uh, is a fucking dickhead, you know what I mean? And uh, basically, what happened is, he come, he come to the front of the pad trying to lay the law down, oh, do you think you're a Doncaster guy? He knows how bad and kicked out of security in different jails. So he tried it on and I leveled him, and then obviously the parver sprayed me, the other screws, and the pad, and I was rolling around fighting with a parver in the eyes. Now, if anyone hardcore convicts on here will tell you, if you've had that parver in the eyes, it's twice as worse as the CS gas what coppers use, please believe me. You know what I mean? My face was in agony. Ah, ah, and you're really just trying to, you can't focus on anything else except for that blindness of the pain. Same as like if someone gets a monage, you know, that's a good way as well. So if anyone's ever on the streets and what have you, you can pick a monage up £2.99 from any shops, literally pour it off, whoosh, one squirt of that in your fucking eyes. And I swear to God, you're on the floor fucking screaming and crying like a baby blind as a fucking bat. And there's nothing you can do and you're going to have to take your kicking. Trust me, I've done it to people and I've seen it done to people that many times. It's unreal. You know what I mean? It's better than any fucking bat, any fucking chopper, anything like that. Bit of ammonia in your eyes and you watch them on the floor scream like a fucking baby. Now listen to me, yeah. Um... Basic, ba 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 basically, uh, anyway, after that do, when I was put down there uh, for good order and discipline down the block, they come in on me a couple of times, the screws, uh, and then after that, I, I basically earned my respect. Like Mr. Donnelly, who I think he's been sacked now, he was the SO and B wing in all when I was there. Um, but yeah, basically a lot of them officers in all jail, they've all been sacked now because of outside investigations. If anyone knows this, um, when, I, when I was turning up to the jail, they had nonsers practically in your face on the induction wing, mixing with you all, giving you your food. And the prisoners were that scared not to do it to the nonsers. Well, not most of them, because a lot got a lot attacked them. You know what I mean? Uh, including myself, I was barred off the induction wing. I went on allowed there because I, I beat that many nonsers upon there. And then they finally barred me out of old jail in the end. But it takes a lot to get barred out of that jail. But a long story short, a lot of the prisoners don't like attacking the nonsers on there. The nonsers get trapped like the screws on the induction wing in old jail. And if anyone can verify that who's been in old jail knows I'm talking the fucking truth what I'm saying. 
like that. So there's only certain few kids what want to get stuck into them because they know the aftermath what's coming off the screws afterwards. I've seen them screws in old jail running and absolutely fucking annihilate, man. Stamping off their head, left, right and centre. Trust me, they've got their own rule book over there. Turn all the Vicom. That's what cameras, camera systems called in jail, guys, Vicom. So if you ever get a nick in and you go down to the block, officer at 1429, I see Mr. May assault another prisoner via Vicom. That's what it says on your nicking sheet, yeah? But um, a, a long, a long, a long, a long times there, uh, it's got to be hull, I'd say, for the worst uh, screws conduct. But now, recently, I'm getting told, like I said, these outside uh, investigators have sacked a lot of governors and sacked a lot of uh, prison staff. And all. I don't know how true it is. Like I said, it was last time I was in Oval was a few years ago. But uh, that was that was most well known for the most volatile and brutality of the screws of uh, the establishments I've been in. Like I remember. One bad case, it was, it was a Scouse kid. I think he had a little bit of learning difficulties and he was smoking the weed, and I mean spice, sorry, smoking the spice. And he was shouting out of his cell all night. And anyway, they got that pissed off with him one night. I was on the wing. They ran in on him late on the night, kicked the shit out of him. Yeah, this guy who had autism, I swear down, God's own truth. The next morning, uh, we was not allowed out ourselves for it. Um, for 24 hours and I can remember looking through the gap on the two's landing yeah and uh, the, I could just see the body bag getting brought in where he's hung himself like that yeah and they took him out and big investigation uh, but they put it down to mental health problems but night before the screws kicked the fucking living shit out of him you know what I mean there's been a there's, them, 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 them old screws I'm telling you now I've got bodies underneath them I promise you now yeah bad people have been investigated that many times it's like that film starred up trust me that's what like them screws in there please believe me but yeah uh, apart from that guys i'd say whole whole jail was definitely most uh, volatile for the screws and the brutality in fighting with them but when i was in the moorlands riots when i was a white when there were me and kips and that from london if anyone knows kipper from london uh, and all the chef kids and big riots started off at moorlands riots that's when we all obviously got emergency ghosted off after literally days writing you know what i mean it made the headline news and then uh i got i got put down the block on good order and discipline and that's when i got sent to all the northeast jails when i ended up in Deerbolt and what have you on my missions like i said i've been in 16 different jails including cat a prisons i've been on some tour i've earned my stripes and, and love to god i never ever see that inside of one of them again it's a fucking eight jail you know what i mean i'll give I don't give a fuck anyone tells you to love jail or a fucking idiot. Don't get me wrong, when you're in there, you gotta make it as easy, as easy as you can for yourself. But it's nothing like that, yeah. Not even, not even a percentage. So if anyone ever tells you any different, they're a fucking liar, because this is coming out of the horse's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So, better being free. But anyway, guys, thought I'd brush up on a bit of content, yeah. Much love and peace to you guys. Uh, hard back, back deadlifting day of today with some sprints and fitness. You know what I mean? I really impressed myself. I got 100 kilogram there. Slow, steady pace, bang. 50 reps, slowed it out. Some burpees. A uh, lot of plank work I've been doing with my core work at the minute. And uh, yeah, every morning, guys, 5, 6 a.m. I'm up. Anyone who's, on, any, anyone who's got me on anything else knows I'm up at that time and I'm cracking on with it. So chipping away, guys. Much love. God bless to you all. I thought I'd drop in with my daily video. Take care, guys. Thank you.